uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video we talked about event driven architecture and in this video we are going to look at the demo for the same we will have uh, some set of microservices which are talking to a rabbitmq there will be a producer there will be a subscriber and we try to simulate the this same kind of architecture okay so what do we have is one is an event data source it can be rest api or some kind of event we will be generating there will be a publisher will which will publish the event to the mqs okay that can be rabbit mq kafka or sqs or any other kind of uh, queue mechanism okay and there will be a subscriber which will listen to that particular queue and will take appropriate action on that okay so in our services we have some set of microservice and for the simple example what i have is some kind of a rest api okay and what this rest api is create user just for demo purpose i'm just keeping this very simple okay and this rest api has a connection with rabbit mq okay and rabbitmq has a subscriber we will be getting the message from this so rabbitmq will create a exchange and the topics and we will actually consume the message consumer of this message now you can do whatever you want to do like you are calling some other microservice to take appropriate action and whenever that action is done just acknowledge the rabbit mq okay simple architecture right and we are going to use a docker compose so all these things are running inside a docker so we'll have this rabbit mq as a container we will be able to access the rabbit mq console also this is rest api which currently is being implemented using co http server and this all can be a simple docker containers and this whole is inside a docker compose network okay so this hole is inside a network now these all are docker containers they can have a database also like a consumer will consume the message like here consider a simple example is you are creating a user through rest api okay this is my mongodb simple use case we will take okay and here also we have a mongodb at consumer side okay you create a user here and raise a event user created okay once you you raise a user created event rabbit mq will publish that event and there will be a consumer which will be listening to this event and based on the payload which we are sending in rabbit mq so once user is created in a mongodb we will send the same payload to the consumer now consumer knows that user has been created so what it will do it will just do the hash of the password and it will store in another database just a simple use case we will just manipulate the the user attributes and store it in the another database or we'll perform some activity once user is created a very simple use case in the same example it, you can compare it with the booking service or anything like this so once booking is created you will raise an event for the notification okay user has done the booking for this movie now we need to we need a consumer we will send this booking created event there will be a consumer listening for this event and we will send a notification using some notification microservice which will be sending an email through sendgrid or uh, twilio or any other client okay without wasting time let's uh, so i'm using portainer to see all the containers okay these are my old containers because i am running everything inside a docker container using docker compose i have lot of services like notification user management and authentication so we will be accessing user management service user management service will publish something to the event queue rabbit mq and authentication service is subscribing to that channel uh, to that exchange and topic so we will listen to that event and we will do something there and once you have the rabbit mq container if you look into it look inside it we can access the rabbit mq admin console and i can see the the flow of messages here and how many producers and how many consumers are there okay uh, let's come back to the code okay 
so here we have a docker compose file i will go one by one we have I, I mean we have different services but we just need to focus on two major service because for that only we are going to do the demo rabbitmq so this will just create a rabbitmq container and it is exposing these ports for tcp and we have authentication service okay it's just a node.js service and there is a user management service which is exposing rest apis so we will hit rest apis on port 3002 okay once we ex once we hit the rest apis on 3002 to create a user then the so here is my apis which i'm going to hit so first coming to the code side this is my user management service uh, i will not explain what this code is doing it's just a simple node.js server we are booting up okay uh coming to our routes and all this is server.js and here is my routes okay and when you do the user controller dot add means whenever you are adding a new user what we are doing what i'm doing is first of all i'm creating that user in the mongodb users dot create and then on the line 36 and 37 i'm using user add message dot send i'm just sending the body which i received from the request and i'm sending that to the rabbitmq using publisher mechanism so if you see the send mechanism here i'm creating connection emqp dot connection okay and i prepared the message stringify the message and i'm doing the send operation on the exchange okay so i just need to provide exchange name which is user dot added now any listener which is listening to this exchange name user dot added will can listen and can read this message okay so this is a message sent part so what i will do is i will hit the any random okay, here i have a test so i'm sending a i'm just keep creating these users you see every time i mean there is no unique constraint for now so you can create a number of users now we can look at the logs which is being generated in these containers user management so these all users are getting posted right sending message to the mqs okay so whenever user is getting created we are sending notifications sending the message to the mqs we can also look at the mqs the state of it is yeah so connection channels and here is administrator these are the two queues and you can see uh, these set of messages which we have received we have get message publish message now we will see how many connections are active okay these two connections and this is channel and this is exchange so we already know our exchange is user dot added right and you can see we are actually publishing message and uh, there is a consumer which is receiving these messages so if you see if we track down the number of uh, descriptors this is rabbitmq instance okay now we can see that number that there is a stream of messages which are going from uh producer is producing those messages and sending those messages here right so total like q messages are total 25 messages i mean total 25 messages has been processed <coughs> So if we just go and look at it, look at the consumer side, what we are doing to all the messages, then we can just go to the portainer again and you can see the rabbitmq logs also. You can see it is actually sending the message, accepting the IMQP connections and closing it right away whenever the messages has been sent, right? And let's see authentication service. This is playing the main role. Here you can see we are sending these events. And these events are getting processed so let's uh, okay let's check the postman okay test one this is one event test two i'm sending these random events from here and now we'll just check the portainer logs I think that is not refreshing it. If 
we can just see our services uh, in integration service let me restart this so using portainer you can start stop any particular container at any moment and we can just check the logs okay now authentication service start running now we can just hit the postman again okay you can see now these users are getting created right attempt to write logs no transfer this is something logging okay but what is this particular service is doing if we look at the code this is so user management is sending now let's go to authentication service and here we have a consumer you can see receive the so user added event is getting generated this is the exchange name and we are actually listening to particular exchange okay so whenever it, we are activating the consumer and whenever the add event is coming this is doing this thing add so it is parsing that message okay user auth record it is creating in the mongodb so there should be a auth model uh, you can see auth model in the mongodb right it is just encrypting the password and storing it in the auth schema so whatever use case is if i just talk about this this producer is just nothing but a rest api okay through this producer we are actually creating an event and consumer is just receiving that payload and storing the same information we can say encrypted information in another mongodb instance okay so this example i have already posted to my github you can have a look how this is working okay so this is all about how we can actually orchestrate this using docker compose how we can do a simple hands on with the rabbit mq if you want to take a look into the code of publisher and subscriber that is available everywhere how to create a, a client to publish a message to the rabbit mq and how to create a subscriber to read the message from rabbit mq okay uh, thanks everyone